is evident due to the actions of the Fulton County District Attorney's Office. My lawsuit against Fonnie Willis, Marvin Arrington, and the Fulton County Ethics Board stems from this necessity. Stalking often misunderstood involves repeated unwanted behavior causing fear or distress. It's a serious issue affecting millions annually, with most victims knowing they're stalkers. The Netflix documentary, Can I Tell You a Secret, sheds light on this issue. Stalking behaviors include harassment, intimidation, and even violence. Despite its prevalence, misconceptions persist hindering support for victims. Stalkers exploit various tactics, from relentless calls to spreading rumors. They often target former partners and engage in something called proxy stalking, which involves third parties. Victims endure emotional trauma and the risk of violence is significant, especially with intimate partner stalkers. The failure to address stalking perpetuates the cycle of abuse, highlighting the importance of legal measures like the Prosecuting Attorney's Qualification Commission, or PAC. It's crucial to support victims and hold accountable those who neglect their duties, ensuring justice for everyone. Stalking is repetitive. Stalkers create a pattern of repeated unwanted attention and contact towards a person. It's an obsession I don't believe they themselves even realize. Their focus is unrelenting towards the victim. A stalker harasses and intimidates a person over and over without ceasing. Examples of stalking are showing up at someone's home or their job uninvited. If Fonnie Willis investigated my case, she would have spoken to my secretary at the Emory Healthcare, who would have shared with her, my stalker repeatedly came to my job to harass me repeatedly calling victims at unreasonable amount of times. It could be up to 50 times a day, but they'll make up excuses or lie as to why they had to call you 50 times. Stalkers will cash app you money unsolicited, and you have to block them from sending you money. Stalkers will repeatedly wait for you at your car and surprise you with the, I was just in the area. Stalkers will also call you from other people's numbers once you block them. Stalkers will leave threatening voicemails on your phone, vacillating between thoughts of undying love and hate if you do not call them back. They'll send you letters to, your victim, to their victim's job in an effort to try to get them fired. They will try to blackmail you. They file motions to appeal their restraining order because they truly believe they are not a stalker. Stalkers get other unknowing and knowing third parties to harass and intimidate you. Proxy stalking. Stalkers will stalk former spouses, friends, sexual partners, or people they sexually assaulted. They spread rumors about their victims and they do everything they can to belittle and humiliate their victims. Once they realize they can't have you disgust for their victims sets in and they try to destroy the person's life. When people repeat rumors they heard from a stalker, they are unknowingly participating in stalking the victim. There are approximately 13.5 million victims of stalking in the United States every year and I want to give you a few stats. 67% know the person stalking them. They aren't strangers as most believe. One in three women and one in six men are stalked. 16% of transgender people, 9% know their stalker from work. 75% receive unwanted calls. 57% have their stalker show up unexpectedly. 52% are surveillance. 40% are targeted by intimate partners. They threaten to share intimate images of their victims. 74% of former intimate stalkers report violence. One in five use weapons to threaten or harm their victims. It increases for intimate partners by threefold to make it a fatality. 22% of 